This lesson shows you how to navigate through RS Logic's 500 menus and windows using the keyboard and the mouse. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to navigate through the project view and ladder view using the mouse and keyboard, identify project view components, minimize, maximize, and resize the project view and ladder view, and show and hide toolbars. The RS Logics 500 software uses object-oriented programming. This means that a pointing device can be used to select objects or give them focus. Selecting objects and navigating around RS Logics 500 software is easily accomplished using the keyboard keys or the mouse. Using the keyboard keys, we can quickly navigate through our ladder logic. We can use the arrow keys to move the cursor right or left one ladder object at a time. We can use the home key to move the cursor to the left end of the rung, and use the end key to move the cursor to the right end of the rung. Pressing the page up and page down keys moves the ladder view focus one rung at a time. Using the mouse, we can also quickly navigate through RS Logic's 500 software. We can left click an object to select it and give it focus. Watch as a single left click is used to give the following objects focus. The project view window, the ladder view window, the program files folder, rung 2, and timer 4 colon 9 done bit contact on rung 2. Once an object is selected, we can right click the object to open a menu that lists the commands available for that item. We can click the up and down arrows on the scroll bar to move through the ladder view. Within the ladder view, a tab at the bottom of the window is displayed for each ladder file we have open. We can have as many files open as we like and easily move between the ladder files by clicking the tabs. The project view contains a project tree that shows a visual representation of all the files in your SLC project. It consists of folders and files that contain all of the information about the programs and data in the project named in its title bar. The project view must have focus or be selected to perform any operation in this view. Next to each folder in the project view is a plus sign or a minus sign. The plus sign means that the folder is collapsed. We can click a plus sign to expand the folder and display its contents or we can double-click a folder to display its contents. The minus sign means that the folder is already expanded and its contents are visible. To open a menu for a project view item, we can right-click the folders and files in the project tree. Often this is a quicker way of accessing some of the same commands that are available on the menu bar. Double-clicking certain files in the project tree will open a dialog box where you can enter parameters to accomplish a task. Double-clicking a ladder file will open the file and show its ladder logic. To close a project, including any ladder files that are opened, we can click the X in the upper right corner of the project tree. Quick start to project development by providing an index reference for terms under Contents, quick tutorials under Using Help, common keyboard shortcut keys under Using the Keyboard, detailed instruction set help under instruction help, how to get quick answers to your technical support and training questions under support and training help, and your own reference sources under user application help. The controller folder allows you to access information about the controller, such as controller properties, processor status, I.O. configuration, and channel configuration. Double-clicking controller properties opens a dialog box that allows you to configure and view system-specific information, such as processor type and name, how much memory the project is using, passwords and master passwords, and information that the processor needs to effectively communicate with the project. The processor status dialog box is accessed by double-clicking the processor status icon. Depending on the type of SLC processor you're using, some of the tabs shown on this dialog box may not be visible. 
The processor status dialog box lets us monitor how our operating system works and lets us direct how we would like it to operate. For example, this is where we would clear a major fault in our project. After we've created the project, we'll need to define the I.O. from within the I.O. configuration dialog box. We'll need to define the chassis, identify the I.O. cards that we're using by indicating their slot positions within the processor rack, and select a power supply for each rack in our configuration. Double-clicking the channel configuration icon opens a dialog box. Different tabs allow us to configure the communication channels supported by the project's processor. This dialog box provides access to general or specific communication channel information for SLC 503, 504, and 505 processors. The multi-point monitor, which is only available with certain processors, is used to monitor data in data table files. The multi-point monitor dialog box allows you to define a list of bit addresses for monitoring and editing. You can use a multi-point list to change the on-off state of bits, set and clear forces on I.O. points, define separate descriptions for on and off states, and write protect a bit. The program files folder contains system files, which are reserved files that store system-related information, the main ladder program, and any subroutine programs. With SLC 500 processors, you can have up to 256 program files. We can use the Select Program File dialog box to view all of the program files in our project and examine basic information about their attributes, such as the number of rungs and the protection status of each file. The Data Files folder in the Project View allows you to monitor, change, and view all addresses available to use in your ladder programs. SLC 500 processors support up to 256 data files, assigned 0 to 255. Files 0 through 8 are default data file types and are reserved as shown in the Project View window. For example, Data File 0 is reserved for the Output Data Table, and data file T4 is reserved for timers. The remainder of the files are user-defined. Double-click individual data files to monitor data values, change values in the data table, or see addresses and usage in your logic program. The force files folder shows the input and output force files. Use the force files to monitor, install, enable, or disable an installed force. Notice that there are only two force file folders because you can only force inputs and outputs and not other data file types. The Custom Data Monitor, or CDM, allows you to create a custom list of addresses from various data table file types within your project and combine them. By combining many data tables, you can customize troubleshooting scenarios and allow the monitoring of critical parameters by viewing one data file. You can define up to 255 CDM lists per project. The Custom Graphical Monitors folder, available only in the professional version of RS Logics 500 software, provides the data monitoring of the standard custom data monitor, but in an easy-to-interpret graphical representation. The Recipe Monitor is used specifically for monitoring groups of related indirect addresses with a common index. The Trends folder is where user-created trend charts are stored. The RS Trendex viewer is an ActiveX control for displaying process data in a trend or strip chart recorder format. You can use trends to log the data for more than one address over a period of time. Project documentation and descriptions are stored within the database folder in the project view. The RS Logics 500 database folder is divided into five areas. Address and Symbol, Instruction Comments, Rung Comments and Page Titles, Address and Symbol Picker, and Symbol Groups. Double-clicking these items opens an editor or dialog box that you can use to document your project or search and view existing documentation. The documentation database is saved separately from your ladder logic and is not downloaded to the processor. 
ability to size, maximize, minimize, and hide windows and toolbars allows you to determine what you want to see in the software windows at any given time. This sample window shows a display where most of the toolbars have been hidden to show more of the ladder and project views. This sample shows a display where the ladder view has been maximized. When the ladder view is maximized, two sets of minimize, maximize, and close buttons are in the upper right corner of the main window. The top set of buttons controls the RS Logix 500 main window. The lower set of buttons controls the ladder view. The middle button on the ladder view window changes to a restore button. Now you try it. 